नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम सुपर एक्साइटेड टू जॉइन ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस रोबो रेस कॉम्पिटिशन एट श्रीमती कमला एंड श्री वेंकटप्पा एम अगड़ी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी लक्ष्मेश्वरा आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक मैनेजमेंट प्रिंसिपल सर एच प्रोफेसर्स एंड माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस इवेंट आई वुड लाइक टू कंग्रेचुलेट ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स हु हैव टेकन पार्ट इन दिस रोबो कॉम्पिटिशन the competitions like this definitely helps to foster innovation and teaches you many things that you can learn only when you work collaborate and build something together our country is going through an important phase in its journey for many decades we have been called a poor country and from that we graduated to a developing country and now we aspire to become a developed country by 2047 and this ambitious target and the goal is given by our honorable prime minister many of you who are sitting here in this audience today you all have an important role and a responsibility if you study the history of many countries be it singapore china many countries in europe and america they all came through this journey where from a developing country they became a developed nation in span of 2 to 3 decades we all should feel lucky that we are born in this era we are born in this time we are seeing the transition culturally socially economically and in terms of technology we are seeing tremendous transformations revolutions changes at a rate that was never experienced by mankind in its all of history a single generation is able to witness changes in technology and innovation which probably hundreds or thousands of generations couldn't even see together in the cusp of this all what is the role that as an youngster who is pursuing engineering in electronics computer science and other fields of engineering you all have to play if a nation has to become developed country it needs many skill sets it needs lakhs and lakhs of people with lot of skill sets and technological skill sets are present in everywhere in every walk of life from the time we get up in the morning with the ring of the alarm bells from our smartphones the way we consume news in the morning how we cook our breakfast how we get ready and go to our colleges or offices how we learn things or how we work there how we collaborate with our colleagues how we engage with our customers how we manage our schedule how we innovate and collaborate how we communicate with rest of the world and even when we come back home how we relax and unwind every aspect of our life is being touched by technology not just individually as an organization also every organization in the world is embracing technology like never before i am sure your college must be using lot of systems to manage and operationalize your campus and your college similarly the governments all over the world and even in india they all also use technology i am sure you must have visited many banks and government offices and you would have seen them sitting with laptops and computers of course i am sure you might have also heard that server is down so every walk of life and everywhere you go you are surrounded by technology and these are built by engineers in the years to come i am sure some of you sitting here in audience will be making positive contributions to build this technology for our country for our society and eventually for the world so what is that as a student as an engineer some of the key values and concepts or mindset that you need to have so that you all can excel innovate and help this country to become a developed nation 
I will share few of my learnings and that have guided me and my career at Microsoft. I come from a very small village in Belgaum district, a place called Gataprabha. I started my journey from a small government school in a village and studied computer science at REC Bahalki. Then I went on to join Microsoft as a software developer and grew all the way till the role of principal engineering manager. I worked in India as well as in United States of America. I have worked on products like Bing and Microsoft Teams. And throughout this journey, one of the things that really helped me was growth mindset. In every walk of life or in every phase of your life, there are moments where you will do well and there are moments where you may not do well. Instead of getting depressed, or having low confidence or self pity reflect try to see what is that you did well and what is that you can improve talk to your friends and colleagues who have done well of course you will find some who will share what they have done learning from them learning from the mistakes and having intellectual honesty lot of people as you grow in your career or in your life your ego starts becoming bigger and your intellectual honesty even though it is there in your heart you try to suppress it and you try not to acknowledge what you have done wrong and that blocks the road or the it closes the shuts the door for growth mindset so knowing that people may judge you now but nobody really cares and nobody really remembers and it's okay to make those mistakes and learn from them and keep growing so exercise growth mindset and remain a lifelong student this is one of the value that will help you the second one we call as first principle thinking as an engineer you will join organizations where already there are existing systems and there will be many seniors and managers who will tell you that this has been built this way and it is like this only you cannot change it you cannot improve it they do not have any malicious intent but this is how humans are hardwired to think if something is working that way and it's been that way then you don't want to touch it but true innovation comes only when you think from first principle thinking and try to question every assumption try to ask why why it is this way and you get some reason and then you again ask why it is that way so you keep asking this why question in a recursive loop till you try to find what is the real truth and then really try to think if that is needed this is one of the principle that our famous and a celebrity ceo elon musk uses in his company he has simplified many complex manufacturing tasks including a rocket engine by applying first principle thinking as an engineer this would definitely help you and the third and the most important thing that every aspect of engineering and life is being touched by software i am sure many of you who are participating in this robo race competition you are from computer science or electronics backgrounds my advice to all of you is to learn programming really really well whether you learn one language or two it doesn't matter but you start with one language and learn that language really well i am sure you are all watching and hearing news about how our defense system has been very effective and many of the defense systems use something called embedded engineering or embedded embedded systems and many of these embedded systems use programming languages like c c++ and ada if we do not have skilled engineers in our country who can write code in these embedded programming languages how is that our country going to become self reliant and build these systems in the decades to come many of you get attracted by fancy advertising marketing gimmicks like learn front end or learn devops and get job in 3 months and the real engineering is much beyond that a simple website building a simple website can be done now by chat gpt you don't need an engineering degree and an engineering depth to do it anymore and we need real engineers to build scalable systems 
which can work 24 bar 7 365 days a year with very low latency they can load quickly in a fraction of seconds and we also need a lot of engineers who can build embedded systems and for all of that you need to learn programming really from the basics develop strong foundation learn how to code and learn how to build things my fourth advice for you is please do not postpone your learning to come and do it in Bangalore after your graduation. You will unnecessarily end up wasting one to two years in Bangalore without getting a job. And if you force yourself to get a job within three to six months, you will end up getting into some maintenance work. Like any industry, software industry also has a lot of maintenance work. If you compare automobile industry, there are roles like designing, manufacturing, and there are also roles like sweeping the factory floor and cleaning the factory machines. The pay scale, the work experience, how they treat you, what you earn, what kind of life you'll have is completely different. And IT is, industry is no different. If you are not skilled, and if you know only how to use mouse and keyboard, then there are many jobs and works where they will give you some one or two day training and you will just you need to know how to read and write English, use keyboard and mouse and you will be able to do the work. But that kind of career you will not enjoy in your life. You will get bored very soon because it will be repetitive. And there is no need to postpone your learning till you finish your graduation and you come to Bangalore. You are so lucky to be born in this era where you have all smartphones and laptops with you. And you all have 2 GB of data. And most of the knowledge that is related to computer science is freely available on internet. I keep telling many people that the world's biggest library is in digital form. It's on YouTube. Everything from how to set up your computer, to how to write code in Java, to C, to Python, and do advanced data structures, or how to set up a server in AWS. Many of the skills that industry use, they are freely available on these platforms. And if you need a structured course and mentors and tests and maybe a certificate, then you have other platforms where you can learn by paying some fees. Please utilize your time in college and campus and learn from these free resources. This also reminds me to let you know that after resigning from Microsoft, me and my wife and few friends together, we started a company by name Algorithms 365. Our goal was to help skill our youth when they are in college, get them to a level where they can understand data structures and write code and build simple projects. And then eventually when they are ready with these skills, provide them with industrial training. So this is our company website. Please make a note of it. Explore these courses. We have completely free courses for C, Python, Java, from basics to advanced and data structures. And we'll be adding lessons on how to do simple full stack projects, how to use GitHub, how to prepare for interviews. And more importantly, we'll be covering lab programs. One of the goal we have in this is, we would like to make sure that no students memorizes the lab programs and they are able to write it by themselves by understanding logic. The final skill I would like to talk about is collaboration and communication. As you know that software development or any product development is a team activity. And in team, you need to know communication, interpersonal skills, emotional intelligence, collaboration, and able to make promises and keep those promises and these team skills you can learn by only when you work together with your friends in projects or in these events hackathons or even by playing sports you cannot pick up your communication skill and emotional intelligence just by reading the books they can teach you and guide you and give you some direction but only when you practice them by working with your friends and others is when you can master these skills. Rarely there are products in the industry which are just done by one engineer sitting in one corner of the office. 
take any industry for that matter it is always a team work and in it industry generally we will have a team with size of 5 to 15 members reporting to a single manager and you have to work together with at least few people on any given project and if you don't know how to collaborate and communicate and work with people then even though you may be good very technically but you will not be able to achieve much and as you spend more time in the industry after few years or 5 to 10 years you will get an opportunity to become a manager or a leader and to become a leader you need to again be good at communication collaboration empathy or eq strat strategic thinking project management all those skills so your soft skills are as important as your technical skills if you want to grow in the industry so please do invest time in that and india needs lots and lots of leaders who are capable of leading teams and help our country to become a developed nation wishing you all the best for this fest or the for this event and wishing you all the best for your studies and career ahead thanks for listening namaskara dhanyawad galo